video I'm going to be doing some DIY back to school room decor and organization. So all these things are just to help you get more organized for the back to school year but they're also really cute so if you do have to keep some of your school supplies and things like that in your bedroom it'll still look cute and trendy. So I will have everything that I used in this video linked in the description box down below. I always list the materials for you guys down there. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I upload DIYs and fun videos every single week. And last but not least, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. It's just my first name, at Nostalgia. If you haven't already, I decided that after my back to school supplies giveaway is over, I will be doing giveaways on my Instagram every single week for the entire rest of the year. So make sure you're following me on there so you're entered for that. And let's just jump right into the DIY. For this first DIY, we're gonna be making these labeled containers that are great for organizing things. So for this, I'm just using some mini mason jars. You can use the large ones if you want, some pins or whatever I wanted to store, and then this embossed label maker. So for this, what you're gonna do is just fill up your mason jars with whatever you wanna store. I'm just putting some paper clips in this one. I'm using the embossed label maker just to make these labels. They're super easy to make. And believe it or not, I was able to get this embossed label maker for $5 on sale. They're they're usually under 10 bucks so they're really affordable and you can put labels on lots of different things they're great for organizing so that's just what I did here I just added the items that I wanted to organize and I put little cute tumblery like sayings on each of the containers so that is pretty much all you have to do you could paint the lids of these containers if you wanted to but I wanted them to be like simple and minimal so these are great to store just about anything in your room or on your desk Next, we're gonna be making this a copper pipe holder. You can use this to store just about anything. I'm storing some washi tape. So for this, you're going to need a copper pipe and a copper flange. I couldn't find one, so I got a silver one. I'm using some copper spray paint and lastly, a hot glue gun. So for this, I'm just adding one layer of the copper spray paint. That way I can get it to match the pipe. Again, my local craft store didn't have all the copper pieces. They're really hard to find, so I will link them down below if I can. But I just went ahead and hot glued in my pipe. If you're lucky, they do have the copper pipe that would actually screw directly into this other piece. However, my local hardware store did not have them. I went to like three of them actually. So after that, I just added a light layer around the edge and I simply placed it in. This is just for extra security. The pipe actually does fit directly into the flange at the bottom but I wanted to add little bits of hot glue. Again, depending on the weight of what you're storing on it, you want it to be secure. So after that, I just went ahead and stored some of my washi tape on there, and I absolutely love this. It looks amazing. The copper piece just adds a great pop of metallic. Next up is this really fun like mobile desk that you can make. So starting off for this, I just took this cart that I got from Ikea. You can also get this really inexpensively at Michael's and other places. So I'll link it down below. But for this, I just added this little magazine holder that I picked up from Target. And then I wanted to add some sort of plant just to spice it up and a really trendy like gold pencil holder. For the bottom piece, I added a little storage box you can use for storage and this little porcelain elephant I got from Ross. On the bottom, I then added two more storage boxes just so you can put your school supplies. And then I added my books as well. I topped it off lastly with a fun little crystal bookend to add there. This is great if you have a smaller space that you're working with and it's also cool because you add the little decor pieces so it still looks cute in your room but it's serving as some organization. This DIY cup holder is great to add some organization to a gallery wall just to spice it up. So for this, you're going to need a piece of wood scissors, a handheld saw, some tacks, a piece of faux leather, a mason jar, and lastly, you are going to need a ruler for this. So starting off, I just measured the piece of wood to be the same size, just a little extra than my mason jar. So I took the ruler and just kind of drew a line across. You're going to need this line because once you use the handheld saw, you wanna make sure that the line is straight across. So using the handheld saw, I just saw on each of the sides and then usually the middle will just kind of like break off and the piece will come off pretty seamlessly. So after taking that piece, I put the mason jar back on there just to measure it out. I took my piece of faux leather and just kind of spaced it on there to see how much I needed to actually cut off of this piece. So I made my strip about a half inch wide cut that off and then taking one of the tacks, you're gonna secure it on one side first. So I measured it out to make sure I did have enough of the piece there. And then I just added the tack right on the side. 
after you add the first tack on that first side, you're gonna go ahead and take your mason jar and put it back in because you wanna make sure that the mason jar is held insecurely by that piece of fabric. So I went in with my second little tack there and then I just snipped off the excess and secured that on. Now you can easily attach this to the wall using some two-way tape or hanging it up with some nails, but I think this would be really cute to add to a gallery wall and add like a little extra flair and also have your organization. So those were my DIYs. I hope you guys enjoyed them. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.